Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Far Out Dudes. It's another week and we got another Far Out conversation for you. For any of those who have, if this is your first time listening, this is a show where we talk about conspiracy theories, about supernatural, and just way far out things. I'm one of your hosts, Paul, along with my other hosts, Joseph and Jacob. How are you guys doing today? Doing well. <clears throat> I'm doing well too. I didn't realize I lost my mind. Because of all these Mandela effects. Oh, okay. Is that what oh. we got? Is that what you're bringing I mean, for us today? That was a good segue if you would have kept it up. <laughs> <clears throat> you know, I can just cut it out. But, um, but anyways. We'll just try it again. Ready? <laughs> so how you doing, Jacob? Uh, I thought I was losing my mind with all these Mandela effects. Because oh. they're making me think that I'm crazy. Oh. They're making me think I thought Nelson Mandela died in prison, but he didn't. Turns oh. out he became the president of South Africa. Why why'd you say they're so angrily though? Because they're trying to tell me that fruit loops was spelled fruit and then loops not fruit loops. Oh. So tell us a little bit about the Mandela effect. All you listeners out there, if you I'm sure most of you have heard it. I'm <clears throat> sure there's a lot of controversy of it. A lot of people our age that are born in the eighties or nineties, we definitely know about some of these things. I know one of my big things is the Fruity Loops or the Bernstein Bears and the uh my biggest one is the Sinbad. But let's let's start off from the beginning. Wait, where before, where did the Mandela effect first where was it first coined? Where did it come from, Jacob? Okay. So in two thousand ten there was this idea of this uh that there's a shared false memory among the public. So like how we remember the Bernstein Bears. <laughs> so in 2010, there was a shared false memory phenomenon that was dubbed the Mandela Effect. Which, in my opinion, I think this is also a Mandela Effect. Because this did not happen in 2010. This happened in like 2014, 2015. I thought it happened around like 2009. I thought it happened around December 31st, 2009. No. Uh, You're both wrong. This happened around, like, I want to say 2013, 2014-ish. I'm going to go with that. It probably happened around 2010. No, that's a freaking Mandela effect right there. I don't think so. Because I saw, no, nobody knew about Mandela effect in freaking, uh, yeah. Oh, actually, if you read on, I definitely (laughs) pre-read this. (laughs) In reference to f- her false memory of the death of a South African anti... Oh, the Mandela effect by itself described paranormal Anti-partide. consultant Fiona Broom. Yeah. You know Fiona? You know she's a paranormal expert. Yeah. What kind of people are named Fiona now? Have you ever paranormal met a Fiona? I, yeah. Paranormal the experts. paranormal experts. She's, she's, ones. She sounds like a witch. Like she must be a witch or something. Like, oh, that's Fiona. Oh, uh, no. When I like think she's of Fiona, a you I know what? Like princesses or something. Mm-hmm. When I yeah. think of Fiona, I think of like uh, paranormal Shrek? activity people. That's a movie. I think of, I think of Shrek. Oh, Fiona. Yeah. Come over here. You're an ogre like me. You got layers. No, you just sound Scottish. Mm, yeah. But that's yeah. how he sounds. You Scottish. don't sound no, like you're Shrek at all. You, you just sound like you're talking like this, like a Scottish donkey. person. Oh, donkey. You're putting too no. much hey, into donkey. it. It's a light accent. Not, what are you going, my, Mexican? <laughs> my throat hurts for some. Oh, donkey. Uh, when I was yelling that. or, oh, when I was doing that, skies are blue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or your freaking vocal you can, feel that one, you, can, you can feel that one in the back of your throat God when you dang. do that voice. But yeah, So tell us a little bit about that. Anyways, back Fiona, throat. in reference to her false memory of the death of South Jake African anti-apartheid Jake. leader, Nelson Mandela. Jake. Nelson Mandela, <laughs> he was in the prison, and she thought he died, but oh he did not die. In 1980s. Why are you almost, that was like almost <laughs> going Jamaican on us. <laughs> boy, I'm all over the place, boy. Yes, you are. You really so, are. <laughs> he actually died in 2013 after having served as president. So they threw the president in jail. So because I'm an old person, I, too, at one point thought that Mandela had died because I think there was maybe a false, like, article that put out that he had died in prison, and yeah. everybody just assumed that he died, and I think that's where the false well, narrative came in for Mandela. I think that since he was in prison, really, after that, nothing was, like, really brought up about so him. People they assumed just that he assumed died. that he was dead. So when he actually got out of prison, everybody's like, I thought he died in, like, Who the 80s. this zombie? Yeah. I thought he died of AIDS. So, is that what you said? so it's basically like false or pseudo memories. Is that what you're saying? 
that's what they that's what they want you to believe. Honestly. That's what scientists want you to believe. Not even scientists, just some random people that are like, "Oh, no, bro. It, it's not a Mandela effect. It's just a false memory." It's <laughs> false memory. And we're not, you know what? We're not those people. This is far out dudes. We believe it. And this particular thing is far out there that we believe. I believe it without consequence. Okay. I believe it because when we get to the topic, I want to talk about the one with Sinbad because that's the one that I believe is steals the parts of the Mandela and I cannot believe it. Sinbad was the freaking Kazam dude, right? Yeah. That never existed. Sh- Shazam. Shazam. Wasn't Shaq in Shazam too? Shaq well, let's was see, let's Kazam. See, let's go. Kazam. Let's yeah. explain a little bit more okay. for the people so that way if they've so, never heard of the Mandela Effect, which I'm pretty sure everyone has, but... I mean, you've heard of it, so pretty much everyone has. Yeah. So Mandela Effect I've is the idea that uh, millions and millions or even billions of people share a false, mem- false memory. For example, uh, the Fruit of the Loom had that uh, wooden thing made in the back of it, a cornucopium. Cornucopia. Cornucopia. Fruit, fruit of the loop. Fruit, fruit of, of my loin. Fruit of the loin. <laughs> fruit of the loin. You know, they make uh, underwear. Twigs and berries. They make underwear, so why don't they call it fruit of the loin? Because it's a loom. That Anyways. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> so that's one of them. Like, it, it was always just fruit when it was a freaking cornucopium. Yeah. So Later on in the show, I have a whole list of things that are considered Mandela effects. Uh, so I want funny you, you mentioned that because so, I did extensive research. Okay, and I have so forty Mandela effects. Continue to tell what so. So I, this so it's an idea I that, guess, let, let every, me, let that a this. lot of people share a false memory. Yeah, so that's a, that's the the idea of uh, Mandela effect is that they share false memories. Yes. But what is our far out interpretation of what the Mandela effect may be? I think what it is is what that kind of movie dove into is like it's different universes or parallel dimensions. What movie for those who haven't heard of the movie? It's literally called the Mandela effect. I haven't heard. People haven't seen aren't it. stupid to where they can't <laughs> Google things. I think if they look up the Mandela effect, they also see well, the movie. Well, our v- most viewers well, are some, lazy and they're not going to look up anything. Yeah, and some some movies aren't named the actual well, the title movie, of the movie. The title usually isn't. You the, can't. You got to assume that they know absolutely the movie nothing. Came out in 2019. It's called the Mandela effect. I watched it. I kind of liked it. And. What he is, Did they all talk like this in their movie? No. no. What's proposed there is that it's different dimensions, too, kind of crossing over. That's what that's what we have far out dudes believe. That, that's, you know how they say like... Well, I'm kind of getting into what my... Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. ...thing is about it. And I think that's what, if it it's anything, it's that. Because you'll have people that maybe switch, that remember things, like Shazam Kazam thing. Yeah. I think uh, I have to agree. There are some things that I, you know, a large group of people say, I know this for a fact has happened. Mm-hmm. And then we look back and we go, wait, it doesn't seem right. Like Flintstones and Flintstones, you know, that I have no idea. It could have been Flintstones. You know, well, that's um, the thing, right? Because most of our memories be- remember s- that particular, you thing. know, Sinbad actually says he was in a movie called Shazam. Yeah. Even Sh- Sinbad. I heard he well, said that he is Sinbad. Well, that's what we want to get into, right? We want to get into those conversations first, but we want more of the people to understand what this Mandela effect entails and what what we think here, or not only yes. think, but what we're uh, well, you keep interrupting, uh, y'all keep interrupting me, and I and I have to start all over. Oh, you don't like being interrupted? I, I I'm done. I'm 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 done. Let me interject real quick. <laughs> so 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 the Mandela effect is this idea that. Millions, even probably even billions of people share a false memory okay, about fa- something. Yes, but that's not where we we want to know about the Mandela effect of what it really is, Jacob. So then, what it really is is so there's this idea that there's it's not an idea. Parallel, it really, is this? There's parallel universes that are on that live alongside us. Okay, so if you really get deep down to it. So you know how things are made of at- up of atoms, right? Protons, We don't want to go that deep. Just tell us what it means when and we're going. And beneath the atoms, there are these things called, I believe they're called tachyons. That's not the thing from Back to the Future, right? <laughs> <laughs> did not, you not look that up? That's, I thought you did extensive you research. Okay, yeah, so they are called tachyons. Mm-hmm. So they're this hypothetical particle... Oh, no, that's not what I want. Can I just pause the po- Hold on, guys. I'm going to pause and look I'll up. T- no, I'll talk about something. With that <laughs> whole thing, with the whole false memory whatnot, and if it is what just popped up in my head, 
is if it is like different dimensions and whatnot, why aren't there other memories? Why is it just like one off things like Looney Tunes or Flintstones? Why isn't it, hey, PJ, why don't you have a beard? You had it like last week or you've always had that beard in the pictures. And now you, you know, you didn't have a beard and you're like, I never had a beard. What are you talking about? Like, why isn't other memories besides those one-off things like the Monopoly guy? Well, that's because it's not like a... I, I think the Mandela effect uh, hits along the lines as far as like a, a larger group of people remember the same memory. Mm-hmm. Whereas you can say, well, we can say, well, you remembered wrong. You're the one person that knows that. And so yeah. we could say you forgot. So Whereas you're, opposed to like a, a larger memory where people can go... Uh, no, we all remember it being spelled Looney Tunes and not Looney Tunes. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And so... So you're talking about, like, uh, individual instances of that happening? Yeah. Well, like, say the whole Looney Tunes thing, right? Like, a bunch of people... Yeah, but that happens to people all the time. Like, oh, I thought you did that. I, I like how you, you asked did that. him and then and he, you just jumped in right in. Whoa. In front of what he was I was just going to... Say, you know how, like, sometimes you're like, yeah, you did Weird that. Weird how he hates being interrupted, right? You know, th- this is a perfect example example for you because what you don't, what you guys don't know about Joseph is, or PJ as well, is there was this bench press, I'll start off with PJ, that our fam- that our parents bought for all of the boys this to use. This going personal into this so, for some reason. No, no, remember, no, I'm just giving you. Do you remember the bench press being bought for you all? Yes. Yeah, it was bought for you. No, for it Christmas. was not. Thank you. The one bench of, press oh, was bought for a, all of the a boys. Of no, one and then the PJ, treadmill was purchased no, for everybody. No, 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 no. The bench press was bought for all of the boys to use, and then PJ just comes out of nowhere and says, oh, this is my bench press, so I know I'm taking it to my house. I dumbbell holder, too. What? That white dumbbell holder. I don't remember that. See, that's another Mandela effect. I don't no, remember a white No, that's just not dumbbell. you remembering. Yeah. No, it was a silver dumbbell holder. I don't no, think there's any. White. That's it's a Mandela. down there right now. Yeah. So <laughs> go, let's okay. go back to explaining to our listeners the Mandela effect. Not the false memory portion because obviously the, there's false memories and pseudo memories that we, okay. we remember. But well, let me explain can I, what the yes. far out Mandela yes. effect is. That's what I'm getting to. Well, it doesn't but first, sound like I it. I want to also get to Joseph. Joseph. There's a Mandela effect where he <laughs> seems to think that everything in our house belongs to him. My mother purchased the first edition Kaiba deck back when we were into Yu-Gi-Oh! All oh, those yeah, years I ago. remember when uh, they got that for Joseph. And Joseph goes, oh, my Kaiba deck is here. Because I have the Kaiba deck sitting on the mantle in my room. I didn't see my Kaiba deck. And he goes, Kaiba deck. oh, this is my Kaiba deck. And I was like, no, this Pappy, isn't yours. Pappy took it you, to work. You opened your us. Kaiba deck as soon as you got it. I remember that being bought for Joseph. Yeah, you see? I remember that being bought for all of us. Anyways, so I never said it was my guy. So tell us what. Tell us what we don't want to know about the scientific easy answer of false memories no, this or is, pseudo memories. Tell us what the far out Mandela. Effect. Well, this is the far out Mandela. Well, effect. you seem to be going off on a tangent into nothing that is the Mandela effect. Well, I'm sorry, you're getting told right now about your stolen bench press. That was for all of us. <laughs> Okay. He wants it back at the house so we can't use it. <laughs> yeah, I want it to use it to hold my clothes. <laughs> he wants to dry his clothes on it. Um, okay, so what what we think it is is that there's parallel universes alongside our universe. And what scientists believe, you know, they're, they're crazies. They believe the Earth is older than 6,000 years old, and they don't believe the Earth is flat, and we live in the firmament. So we're going to... We're gonna, I can't believe they don't think it's flat, but continue on. Go the outside. road is flat. Everything's flat. Anyways, so you have mountains. What going they up, believe, not curved. Even my flat top haircut, it's flat because it ain't it. curved. Nope. Look at that flat top. Is it curved? No. Jacob, it's flat. Like the is earth. my flat top round? <laughs> yes, it is very round. It's then it wouldn't be a flat top. Okay. Uh, it ain't called a round. Can top. we get back to it? This tangent is not. So, <laughs> I already forgot where I was. So, let me explain it all over again so our listeners can get pissed off and say, you just say the same thing over and over again. Funny how that happens, huh? So, the <laughs> parallel... people interrupt you. So, the parallel universes, that's what we believe. And scientists believe that there's these things that, you know how, uh, like, all matter is made up of atoms. They believe that there's this no. other, smaller... They're not made up of a bunch of atoms. Because, Adam. I mean, he's only one guy, or, or how many atoms are there in the world? I mean, I'd say there's probably a couple thousand, but... 
Could it be completely? To make up everything? Yeah, that, that'd be weird. I know only one Adam. I mean, how could he make everything? I don't even everything? know an Adam. Adam. The only Adam people I know are like yeah. celebrities or something. And, and Adam doesn't make everything God does. So <laughs> there you have it. Science disproved. Boom. So <laughs> they believe that protons and neutrons are composed of these two types of things. And I think electrons too, but I'm not too sure. Uh-huh. So they think that they're made of these things called quarks. And what quarks are, these little tiny things, smaller than atoms, smaller than protons, smaller oh, than snap. neutrons. I thought it's where like I stick papers on the quarks. So they're like <laughs> these, they, they're like these kind of like U-shaped things that vibrate really fast. Mm-hmm. They're like and so there's a, this idea, you know how like people they're say like. shaped <laughs> Or are they like me-shaped? <laughs> No, are they're they banana shaped. shaped. They're U shaped. They're banana. I don't know. He just said U shaped. So I don't. Remember. Were you talking about Joseph or me? Are you talking? They're, to no, listeners? I'm not talking to either of you. I'm talking about oh, the banana. So they're banana shaped. They're not. He U-shaped. said they're U shaped like okay. you guys, listeners. If you see these atoms, they're shaped like you. Okay, they're banana shaped. <laughs> oh, it's, it's not even that funny at all. Oh, it's not. <laughs> it's not funny at all. So they're shaped like bananas. I believe so, and they vibrate really fast. <laughs> Those are like called vibrators. Vibrator. <laughs> uh, can you turn that off? <laughs> this is a family show. <laughs> Those are called back massagers. <laughs> Jacob, that's Personal for massagers. this is a family show, bro. Turn that okay. off and tell us this about. So there's this idea. Show. You know how like people say like we're all just energy, man. Well, technically we are because there's these quarks that just vibrate. Mm -hmm. And so there's this idea that if we were to vibrate at like a different frequency, Mm -hmm. we'd actually go into the other parallel universe. Mm -hmm. Because they're vibrating at like... Or a fourth dimension. Let's say they're vibrating vibrating at 100 and we're vibrating at 101. Mm -hmm. So they think... So what the idea is that maybe we switch spots with some people in another universe. Mm -hmm. So like our vibration changed a little and... And the vibration of the person in the parallel universe changed. And you know how, like, the parallel universe, everything is exactly the same, except there's little small differences. So are you saying right now we could be in a different universe right now? Yes. Think, than we originally were in? I mean, we prob- I I'm probably am, because you seem to think that the bench press belonged to you <laughs> when it was bought for well, every it sounds dude. like me and Joseph are on the same page, so you might be from a different universe. I, I think, think I might that, be. Do you think that has to do, maybe connect with deja vu a little bit, too? Uh, probably. Because I do remember your ears being smaller. <laughs> no, he's always had. <laughs> oh, he always had giant earlobes? What's that? The Buddha. <laughs> he always had Buddha ears. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, <clears throat> so that's what we believe. Like, other people are getting vibrated into different dimensions. I don't believe that. That's why, okay, did did y'all remember it as... Bernstein bears or Bernstein bears? Well, I don't believe any bears were putting any stains anywhere. This guy's got to make a joke about everything. I, it's not <laughs> It's not funny. <laughs> I got to say. I honestly wouldn't be able to tell you because when I read or saw those books, I was like really young. Yeah. And uh, to remember the spelling of it, for, I would have no For clue. me, we'd always say when we were everyone my age, we would always Bernstein say Bernstein bears. Bernstein bears. Yeah, but that's just you being young, not knowing how to pronounce the and word. And everybody in the everybody ever mispronounced it. And I, I don't as think kids, so. well, probably. I think we were, yeah, it was just easier to say Bernstein bears than Bernstein bears or a Berenstein, however you want to say it. I think it's, it's just like tomato, tomato. I think too. Yeah. But the whole spelling of it is where it comes in. It's never been Jiffy. <laughs> it's always been Jiffy. It's dude. never been Jiffy. <laughs> it was Jiffy peanut butter. I, I remember, actually, I'm on the same thing as you are. I'm actually on the same website. <laughs> it's actually all of these. I thought that the different websites had different Mandela effects, but it's just this lady got they're her article f- published on multiple different websites. They're all websites. 40. You didn't, that Look, wasn't a dead giveaway. Th- this is all Blake Bacali, Bakila or whatever. Let me see the one that I'm on. It was one? written by Blake Bakila. November 16th. What's the other one? Mine What's doesn't even say at? who it was written by. January 4th. It just says by a good housekeeping editors. Oh, that's oh, all my other says. people were too much okay. behind. But anyway, so just like Jiffy, people think it's Jeff. I, to be honest, I just don't. I don't remember that either. But it doesn't bother me much. I don't ever much. remember it called Jiffy. I remember Tunes T U N. So, I, so I feel like you're already going into the next area where you're supposed to kind of let the the audience, the listeners, know that we're. We're starting to introduce all of what the Mandela effect, some yes. of the Mandela effect stuff. I mean. explained what the Mandela effect is. But you didn't say, now we're going to go through some of those examples. 
of what people okay, I have to explicitly perceive say, as the Mandela okay, effect. Okay, ready, pause. Okay, so now we're going to go into some different Mandela effects. Um, the first one I want to talk about is Jiffy. Um, it's the peanut butter. It was called Jiffy, not Jif. To be honest, I don't even really remember. So was it called Jiffy and now it's called Jif? But I guess that one doesn't even bother me much. It, I remember. I don't remember. It really it doesn't Jiffy. bother me either. Yeah. But it's just crazy that. And why? Why is all the Mandela effect ones? And I'm sure Ooh, we're gonna go everything. through. We're gonna go through a lot of them. Mm -hmm. Why is it just like the spelling of stuff? Most of it. Or a saying. Well, that's where. Why isn't it like there was a building here and the building's gone? Yeah, that's where I, that's where the whole memory thing came in. And where I'm like, well, maybe you're just too young to, you know, and so many years have passed by. It's like when I told you the last time you saw something or the last time, you know what I mean? Like the last time you read Bernstein Bears and now it's coming back and you don't really remember. Mm. But I do remember everybody called it Bernstein Bears. Yeah, but that could, like I said, it could just be what they called it. No. But what is it called really? Oh, we're, we're going to we're gonna get to that slide, I guess, but. The Bernstein Bears. It's the Bernstein or and it's, Stain? And look how clearly the A is. <laughs> like, why would you say Stein instead of Stain? I, well, because, I always said the Bernstein Bears. Because Stein. when you're learning to read and you see cursive like that, the way the no, E and the A are. No, no. I don't, so, I don't know. Wait, are they saying that it's Stain? Yes. So this is the Mandela effect on the left side, it's and the not. right side is what it is. Yes. Okay. Well, the that just sounds so much more dumb. Burn st stained bears? No, I don't remember them ever saying anything about the bears being or staining or anything. Yeah, I do remember it. You're being, really reaching for that. I really uh, do remember <laughs> it being tunes. No, like, it wasn't. It was tune. Looney Tunes, like cartoons. Looney no, Tunes. No, but it's tunes because of the. They even have. Notes, music notes in there at the end of them. No, for Looney I don't. Tunes to be honest, I don't remember. Credits. I always thought it was Looney Tunes with uh, like tunes, like cartoons as well. No, I, I do remember. Hey Jewish guys, George having a for for the tale. yeah for the let for the listeners uh for the listeners in the comments below. Let us know any of these Mandela effects that we're going to be going through right now. Let us know which ones that that you remember. You know for a fact, and also right? some. Personal ones that you may have, like the personal memory one that I talked about. Yeah, like any anything. I'd like to know ones. Oh, that there are there are uh, Mandela effects where this building used to be here, or and it's not anymore. New but, Zealand. Everybody thinks that New Zealand was above Australia, but it's actually like on the bottom corner of Australia. Oh, I thought I've always thought that. Well, that's how the maps put it. But uh, th but there are people out there that oh, that believe that. New Zealand has always been above Australia, mm -hmm. like the northeast. I thought it was above. I thought it was like the northeast too. I but thought it was like below, it, like Philippines and but stuff. But it's southeast. But it's south. Yeah, east. Yes, I didn't know that. Well, it's flipped, so they probably just flipped it the other way for the mm, equator. No. Yeah, they probably when they flipped it, then they put it on the opposite side with the equators, and then inverted it six axis, um, and then they equaled negative. it by two. And you get the sum of all fears. And there's and also athletes. a Mandela effect about the size of the, not the Years. earth, but like different countries, like uh, China being a lot smaller or bigger than what it was. So there is Mandela effects other than this. Okay, so let us, uh, let, let's go through another one. Uh, Curious George. I remember him with a tail and without. So Curious George, they say, has o never had a tail. Are you freaking out? No. Which I've got to be... I, I remember him having a tail because I remember seeing like some books and he would hang on his where tail. he would hang on his tail. Squiggly tail too, yeah. right? Yeah. Huh. So I don't know. I I I think some of these things that that uh, there's a glitch it's in the matrix. It's always been and the city. A lot of people thought it was in the city. No, it was never no, in the city. It wasn't. You're you're doing sex in the city. You're not doing sex and the city. Yeah. It's been. It was sex and the city though. That I know for a fact. I don't remember. To be honest, I never watched it. Being, like a, YouTube. Young Being a young teenager, like YouTube. I knew it was sex and the city. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> like, this I one, I, don't, I didn't even know it was a Mandela effect. I don't even remember it like you two ladies as sex in the city or sex in the city. I could care less. Okay, I didn't even know this was a Mandela effect. Febreze with two E's was never Febreze with two E's. It's a Febreze with one E. I always thought it had two E's. Yeah. I, I mean, don't but, know. But I can honestly say that it was probably my memory. No, I can only say it was with two E's. It's not with one E. Okay. Well, that's what I'm saying. I think it was my memory. 
And Oscar Mayer had an E. It was never what the name. Because the song went, my baloney has a first name. It's O S A E O O S C A R. My baloney has a second name. It's M E Y E R. It wasn't M A Y E R. John Mayer. <laughs> yeah, Oscar Mayer. It's Oscar Mayer. With an E, not an A. Uh, right? That I wouldn't be able to tell you again. I I just I could have swore the song always about. said O S C A R and M E Y E R because you would say the E twice. I could have swore that it's, but I will bet Jacob's life on it that it was always that. Let's play it. Play the commercial from 1973. What is this? Skechers. Skechers had a T in it. Okay, let's see. No, it never had it. I don't remember it having a T. What? I remember being like, why doesn't Skechers have a T? Because it's Skechers, you know what I mean? Because it's just a CH. Maybe that's why you remember it. Yeah. Okay, we're about to play the Oscar Mayer commercial. Hopefully, uh, well, we don't even make any money on this. Well, if it's a Mandela effect, it's going to show you that it's spelled that way and not the way we think. This, this is bull. a demon. This is a demon <laughs> talking. That, it it, it no. is M E Y E R. <laughs> this is some demonic. Oh my god! I feel like oh my god. That kid looks like Satan Look, too. I can, I can give up Skechers. I can go with that because to be honest, I didn't really ever pay attention. And it's with a T. But it was. With it was a T. But Skechers? Oscar Mayer. It is Oscar. Meyer, not Oscar Mayer. Okay. <laughs> you want me to tell you why it's not Skechers with the T? Because Skechers is sketching. Skechers is a brand from another country. I don't remember that, to be honest with you. I don't even remember. To, to be honest, I don't remember Fruit Loops either and how it was spelled. It's always been Fruit Loops because they always had the stupid circles in there. <laughs> I don't remember. But I'm sure. I'm you sure know that's why true. everybody probably thought it was Fruit with UI? Is because they assumed that they were just replacing the UI with the. The, the Cheerios, O's. yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So I think that's why that. One I don't is. remember. But why fruit would you? Like that. Why would you spill it fruit. with two fruit cereals? Loops. Because it's not actual fruit. Well, I know, but I'm saying like, why would people think that you're replacing the U and the I with two I circles? Know. I thought that Kellogg's was never had. I don't two remember. G's. <laughs> I, I to be honest, I don't even remember. To be honest, okay. This next one this is, is with King okay. Henry the Eighth with a turkey leg. I've got to say, obviously, the one to the right or the left is completely wrong because that looks completely fake. But I think they're thinking that he had a turkey leg in his hand and Instead not whatever, whatever that, he has. That, that he has. To be honest, I don't, re- I don't remember about that I don't that even know either. what this is. Yeah, me either. Well, the, what they're saying is that uh, when the painting of King Henry, a lot of people remember that particular painting that he had food in his hand because he was known as somebody who ate a lot. And so, well, he was a pretty thick boy for. Well, but I, I think know what to I know me what on that is. one. To me on that one, I think just because of what is in his hand, it kind of looks like a turkey. If you go back to the to the picture, it kind of looks like a. It, it could be like a piece of chicken or a turkey or something in his yeah, hand. Yeah, I don't original. know what it is. It almost looks like a looks penis. Like a glove. <laughs> <laughs> it's a glove. It looks like he has a chopped penis. <laughs> <laughs> He's got it a does. doggy dick in his hand. <laughs> he just got a bunch of foreskin. Yeah, it looks pretty disgusting. It does look like he has a chopped penis or something. Um. A lot of pre poos I guess to move on from that particular picture, because Jacob just switched it on us. The Monopoly Man. I could have swore the Monopoly Man had his... Uh, Mon- mo- monocle. Uh, his monocle. No, you're confused. Like I told Jacob, you're confusing him with Mr. Peanut. No. No, well, no that's what it yeah. says. This right guy no. had a... I remember him having a, a monocle oh. on. Yeah. I don't. No, I do. I don't remember. He him had a monocle. Look at that. We're decades apart. You know what? I wonder if the uh, if the Mandela effect has something to do with uh, being a certain age group too. Like you remember something different than the two of us remember something. So every now and then you get you get that Mandela effect with the different age groups. You know. Let me see if maybe. Look, he doesn't have a monocle. Look, they tore it right. They there, tore it so off, so you can't tell. <laughs> you would see the line. Or That's something. bull, man. It's all a conspiracy, man. It's all a conspiracy. That guy had a monocle. Why doesn't it let me just click on the image to make... Oh, it's because I'm clicking on that. Yeah. Click that guy had a monocle, man. He never you had know a what, monocle. And you know what the problem is now today? You can't really ever get the truth because people will go, no, he did have a monocle and go like do some photo editing stuff now. Like how, you, what you're looking at? Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
But he did have a monocle. I don't know. We're just in another universe. Yeah, we're we're going back. In we, another we, dimension. We, maybe another we get dimension. Di- different glimpses of different universes. Yeah, we're, we're living in the universe right now where he has a monocle. And then, like, ten years later, they're going to be like, he always now, had a monocle. the next one you're going to click on, the Pikachu. Yes. Uh-huh. He had a black tail tip. Yes. He had a black tail tip. Yes. He Jacob, did. Joseph, stop acting like you don't remember this. That dude had a black uh, tail. I'm very fond of the Pokemon genre. Okay. And Mr. he never Fondling. had a black tail. You're, that's bull. He always had the brown at the bottom. That's dude. bull, look, man. look at even old Pikachu. <laughs> okay, <laughs> look how it's white right here where they just cut it off. and put Yeah. It. That dude, no, he had a black he tail. He never had a black tail. He had a black tail. I never t- remember him having dude, a black tail. I watched Pokemon, and I was a big Pokemon fan, and I Maybe would always watch it, it with the black tail. you got it from the ears, tail. and you're just false remembering again. I don't remember him with the black tail. I remember I don't him remember with him with tail. the brown. Ja- Jacob, do you remember him with the black tail? Yes. The listeners, uh, 100%. comment below. Did he not have a black tail? Look at tail? that, Pikachu. Go up. To the left. And I remember him that looking one. like that one. <laughs> that one that, yeah. No, the one with the face. Go <laughs> I remember him like that. <laughs> they came That's the original Pikachu. Just Google Pikachu and you'll see a crazy looking one. <laughs> I and look how much he's changed it anyways. Look at the 1998 version versus 2010. Yeah, I it, he had a black tail. That's my that's my universe and I'm sticking to it. That's my truth, guys. God that's my it, truth. This stupid game cuts it off. That He's black tail. Look, look at the game though. Go back to the game again. You look at the game. No, no, the, on the on the right side. On the right side. Scroll back up on the game, Jacob. Ugh, the box on the side that you were scrolling. Oh. Look at the gl- game. You don't see. Jeez, what are you clicking on? I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. Oh my now we don't God. even know where it's at anymore. Great. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. So what? So about what the I was game? gonna say. The game doesn't show that he has brown on his tail, and so it's blocking off that. The, the tip of his tail on that game. This is a lie. He had a freaking black tail. You this know what? This is my truth. It's my I'm living out Pikachu, my truth. Pikachu. Pikachu. I'm gonna live out my truth. If if a man can live as a woman, I'm gonna live as uh Pokemon's te- uh Pikachu's tail with had it a black It makes tail. no sense for him to have a yellow tail at the end. Yeah. It's lightning. Why would he have a black tail? It's supposed to represent a lightning bolt because he's a lightning type Pokemon. That's is that bold. just hitting you too? No, no. Tail supposed to be a lightning No, bolt. he had a black tip on his tail. I remember that. If I it, looking at these two pictures, I go, "This is the original Pokemon uh, Pikachu, the one with the black tail tip." Uh-huh. Look, look at even the float. He has a black tail tip. No, he doesn't. This is ear. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. Okay, let's go on to the next All right. one. Anyway, so you're not gonna find any of the black tail because he never had a black tail. But to go back to our personal, he had a black freaking tail. To go back to he your didn't. personal Mandela effect, those weren't your cards, Jacob. <laughs> 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 you just you were little and you wanted them to be your cards. That's what ha- happened with that one. I'll give you your stupid ancient Mew and Entei back. Hey, those are don't the only forget that I got. Don't forget to give me mine that are worth money too. The most expensive ones. Yes. Those are mine. You got it, buddy. Hey, because I got to catch them all. My Charizard. Yeah. My first edition, my champ. <laughs> yep. Anyways, he had a black tail. Facts are facts. Okay, Kit Kat. Now, is it the dash? Is it? The are dash. they saying the dash was there or the dash wasn't? The dash wasn't. There. I remember it with the dash. I remember, I remember it. with the dash, too. I remember it with the dash, but, I mean, it's not that. To me, this I is not something with, that I would die for, like the Pikachu tail. I remember it with C's. I will die for the Pikachu tail. I'll it's kill. my It's my truth. I will murder. And I'm going to live my truth. <clears throat> going to live my truth. Can we pause this for a second? Because it was with C's. I re- definitely remember it with C's. Okay. This is another Mandela effect that not, not a lot of people know. Okay. I remember. Mm-hmm. Here comes the punchline. Caitlyn Jenner being <laughs> Bruce Jenner. <laughs> I re- he was a man. He was a man. He was a he was You know man. what? I remember that same thing. I remember in the 80s, Wheaties box. He, at that, for the Mandela effect, right? He won like a, a, a male gold medal. Yeah. Yes. I remember him, she being a man, but now she's a she? 
I'm very confused. That's with this. something we do share. Because I then, remember Bruce Jenner. Yeah. Not Caitlyn And then there's Jenner. this other guy yeah. who you, I thought he was in this movie called Juno, and his name was Elliot or Ellen? Ellen Page. I yes. could have swore it was a woman, too. I could have swore. But now or, it's a dude. But I'm so confused. <laughs> but you know what? I've always remembered him as a as Elliot. And you know I w- and but that's I, that's what I remember. And it's crazy because I go back and I look at the movie Juno, and he's still flat chested, but he's just such a great actor. He's pretending to be a girl. Well, Juno's when I watched it, he played a girl in that movie. Yes, but he he played a girl. Yeah, because he's androgyn androgynous. But I, I he's know even I know the Medela. But film. I looked at his titties, and he still had no titties. <laughs> even in, that in movie. this one movie, he popped out his tits. And who look like women's tits? Well, that's because that's he was probably a woman. Hair, that's probably a prop. But uh, I re- I'm a CG or something. I've yeah. I, I've always known Elliot as Elliot Page, you know. So I don't know what you guys remember. This guy's but from another dimension. I've always another dimension. Another, another dimension. dimension. <laughs> another dimension. <laughs> uh, but I've always uh, I've always remembered him as Elliot. Yeah, that's crazy. That's weird. Crazy. Yeah. So wait, I thought that was how do you some... remember Bruce Jenner as Bruce Jenner, but then Elliot? I don't know. It's weird. It's it's strange. It, it boggles my mind. You see, and you said, "Oh, this person. Why don't there? Why aren't there ever any persons that are Mandela?" That's a effects? good one, though. I wasn't thinking of how I remember a Bruce Jenner. Now there's no such thing. Okay. The yeah, jo- he doesn't the jokes exist. Ran its it was, it was always <laughs> Caitlyn. It's that always been crazy. Caitlyn. Wait, you switched it up now. Now you're, it's always Caitlyn for you. Well, yes. no, what I'm saying is... Oh, I, wait, yes, that's there right. There was never a Bruce Jenner. There was, never a Bruce. There was always Caitlyn. I oh. remember a Bruce, but... So do know, I. The world just works in mysterious ways. The glove guess. don't fit. The glove don't yeah. fit. He has to quit. It's crazy. Elliot Page. Fruit of the Loom. I remember with the cornucopia. I have to agree. I think most people remember with the cornucopia. Because it had a cornucopia. Yeah. They're not going to just put some fruit on yeah. their label. There's not a, just a, a, a fruit there. Okay, and so what is it? What is the reason that they put nothing? No, there's no reason on how this one is explained away. I'd like somebody to explain away why that cornucopia disappeared. Okay, and in this 2006 movie, The Ant Bully, there's a scene where they where they look at his shirt, and it says "Fruit of the Loom" and it has a cornucopium. And the image, if you look at it, it looks exactly like the that says "Fruit of the Loin," though. Why don't you just go back to what you have? <laughs> you read the Pikachu picture. Okay. Why do you have the tab? He's tab a, yeah, he seemed pretty obsessed about the Pikachu thing, though. I, I was pretty obsessed. I mean, he totally he stopped talking for a good 15 <laughs> minutes when looking at Pikachu pictures. Okay, look. Existential crisis. <laughs> they do have a little bit more fruit on this picture. But though. that one also says fruit of the loin. <laughs> Oh, it does say for the Lord. So I think that movie is not correct. Well, it's also a and what is that, movie. What is not. that next picture? The one next over to the one you just clicked. What What's going on in that one? No, down. What's, what's happening there? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. Rulu, Loom, Cornucopia, let's, Mandela effect. Let's not explain that. But that, look, that Cornucopia was there. It was there. They're just trying to pull a fast one. So again, they went through the whole Aaron and history. I know I've said this at the beginning. I know I said this earlier, but for our listeners out there, tell us what you think and each of one of these Mandela effects that we uh, continue to go on because I remember the cornucopia. That cornucopia was there. I'm and sticking look, to it. There is this there is this album by Frank West called "Flute of the Loom," <laughs> and they based the freaking album art off of the uh, the Capricornium or. Whatever. Cornucopia. Cornucopia. I'm sorry. It's a big word for me. It sounds like it's a pleasant place. A cornucopia. What is that one? Go up a little bit. I like, have, go I back down. Live, I want to live in the cornucopia. That go sounds like right a, there. Go to the right. What is that one? Click on that one. <laughs> enhance. Enhance. <laughs> enhance. She doesn't have a. She's a filthy whore. She doesn't have the cornucopia on her picture. She's useless. She just has the fruit. All righty. So. Um, I don't know. I, I remember the cornucopia, but I to be honest, so I, I never really paid attention too much. So that one could be you just. Uh, I paid attention a very well, memory. and it had. Well, that's fr- also the most newest design. Well, like, you, it wasn't like that before. You know what? When I was in art school, when I was doing drawings of fruit of looms, they always had the cornucopia when I was drawing it. Mm-hmm. I would Doesn't literally no take sense. off my fruit of loom white shirt and I would draw the cornucopia and the fruit of looms that was on it. 
That was yeah. at, when I would practice my drawings. Okay, and it was never Cheez Its. It was, was Cheez Its. It was, dude. It w- that thing had a Z in it. I remember yeah, the Z. Cheez Its. Yeah, I remember the Cheez Its. You just kept calling. I'm pretty sure y'all just kept calling them Cheez Its. Like, go get me some Cheez Its. Yeah, go get me some so, Cheez Its. So, like, it just stuck on everybody's. Yeah, but Instead why? Cheez-its. Why would we? Think- because why would you say go get me some Cheez Its? Why would? Why You're gonna would, want more than one. Yeah. Why would we not remember it with an S then if it was always give me some Cheez Its? Because the Z in instead cheese. of the Z. And it was a Z. There was a Z there. Why would you name your product yes. Cheese It instead of Cheez Its? Yeah. Because they cheese it. That's terrible. Why would you call it Cheez Its? What? Because there's multiple Cheez Its in there. <laughs> Duh. It's not isn't that a singular so product here. <laughs> there's it's a plural. There you get a whole bag of Cheez Its. Why would no, you do? Why would you no. cheese it if you're? Oh, no. There's not one giant cheese it in that box. There's multiple of them. Yeah, no, the box has one giant. That's the actual size of it. <laughs> you pull it out. <laughs> Go grab me a cheese it. <laughs> That's why you're not getting. You're not just getting a single giant cheese it. <laughs> or are you? Um, All right, double stuff. I've never really eaten double stuff Oreos, well, and it doesn't make any sense why you would only put one F on it. That's just yeah. I have to say this is a Mandela effect. Double there, stuff. There had to have been two Fs. I don't know because what other product is saying double stuff? I just assume. Why did you change it already? I felt like I was still Seriously. on the Oreo, man. <laughs> I'm like, sorry. Okay. Just because I don't have anything to say about yeah. that. So <laughs> on to the next one. Okay. I, I don't have any good jokes to say, so I'm gonna go ahead. and move I've on. never uh, like looked close enough. I always assumed it was double stuff with like two, two F's. F's. Yeah, yeah. But I, I never, never looked had at double it. stuff, so I don't know. I've always been double stuffed. <laughs> Whoa, buddy. This We're not apparently this that guy likes to get pegged and get double stuffed. <laughs> We're not no, open that what I'm saying is I always get double stuffed. Oh. Oreos. When I buy the Oreos, oh, I, Oreos. Always, I always remember it being yes. double Oreos. stuffed. I what always, an ED at the end. No, when I... Stuffed. I they stuffed it. <laughs> <laughs> with, with, with the stuffing? But no, I always I always get double stuff. Oreos. Okay, next one. So. Okay, Mona Lisa <laughs> smile. There's a lot of theories about this one. They Those pictures look identical. So yeah, they I'm look not the too same. sure what they're saying. That What's the difference here? Because <laughs> this one, the difference? She, she's kind of smiling, you know? That, this it, one, she's kind of frowning. That that looks like it she's kind of smiling like on that one too. It just looks like they lightened up the shadow a little bit, so it looks like she's smiling. I don't think I don't know what they're trying to get at with this one. Besides, this she one, does look next, like she has arthritis. She did, and there was a freaking movie called Mona Lisa Smile. Next, it's so? about a lady called Mona Lisa, not about the yes, Mona Lisa. because Mona Lisa well, has. It's probably like for the listeners. This is how I remember. She looks like she's smiling in that one too. I remember. What are you talking no, about? She I she does. I literally cannot tell the difference. I remember. Mo- I can tell the difference. I remember Mona Lisa smiling like this in the picture. So <laughs> straight at me like this. Yeah. <laughs> well, too bad the audience and can't see you. And she had a you. super <laughs> underbite like this. Hey, the, listeners, like, I look thought, at me when I do this face. Don't you remember Mona Lisa like this? What I thought the difference was was, like, the shading. I was like, what, what the yeah. hell is the difference? Was no. it bright or lighter? It literally How can looks you not the same. tell she's smiling in this photo? There is such a it's, minuscule, like, yeah. difference in it. So you can't – I wouldn't make this a Mandela effect. I think this is just ridiculous. You can't. It this. was. She did have a smile, Mona Lisa smile. It was like a well, thing. Well, where's the original picture that if it was then? This is the original picture. Okay, and it looks the, identical. That and in the original picture, no matter where you're standing, it looks like she's looking at you. Does it look like that? That's like she's looking painting. at you? It does. I feel like she's staring at me, right? It looks like she has arthritis <laughs> of the finger right there that, okay, where her she thumb. She does have a smile on this picture, too. We got to be at. It's just, okay, so <laughs> you're saying. In order to see the smile on the right <laughs> picture, so far away you have <laughs> in order to see the the pit the smile on the right picture, you have to be standing on the left side of the picture and look at it. Okay, I don't feel like this one's a Mandela effect. Next, I think, I think this that, one's yeah, another bro. bullshit filler. <laughs> okay, by Blake or however you want to. Spell Even the his biggest Star Wars fans get on the next one. Okay, every get it single wrong. every single one. The robot isn't all gold. That okay? That's nonsense. He never had a silver um, leg. I remember him being all gold. Yeah, they're saying that he had a silver leg. He wasn't all gold. They're saying that he he had a yeah. Look at that. Jo- look at Joseph jumping on it now, huh? Uh oh. Yeah, I, I think him being I all think gold. we got one for Joseph. I remember him. Being I think all Joseph gold. finally is admitted to one of the C3PO. Mandela effects. He was never all gold. He had a, a silver no, leg. No, I remember him having a silver leg. You're the just time, time, remembering. Jason. God, I no I spoke to George on the phone personally about I mean, this, and he said no. C three PO had 
was fully golden. This is full gold leg. Yeah. The robot isn't all gold. He has one silver piece as his right leg. I don't remember that at all. Maybe it's just like so. Is it's it such like an old movie that you really? Oh, well, let, look at that one. Maybe it's just because it's like almost. Well, they're gold. in the sand too. So yeah. So it looks it looks like it's gold. But even inside the other like uh, even the other episodes where you can see his whole body inside of the building, like do one where he's inside it's the su- ship. Yeah, it's such a subtle difference. That yeah, probably people assumed it. Assumed but I that thought it was he both had leg? gold. Gold. I I think yeah. See, that's so. But weird. now that I'm looking at these pictures, I can see how. But maybe even we thought even that. when I remember, even when they used to make little dolls and models of him, they were it, gold. It was gold. Well, the dolls and models that I'm looking at, they are gold. Oh, who farted? I have my phone going up. I think that's crazy. For me, I'm going with uh with a gold with a gold leg on both sides. Yeah, I remember him having. You would two think gold that legs. in the sh- in the movie they would mention that at some point, like, oh, you look at your silver leg right there. Your <laughs> shins go uh, silver, right? Ra- <laughs> yeah, let's talk about your random silver leg. Yeah, uh, wasn't he like a a droid for the princess? Like, why why are you not yeah. all gold? What what? Uh, how cheap was your princess that she replaced you with a silver leg <laughs> instead of replacing you with your proper golden one? I mean, the picture, sh- if that's a silver leg, I wouldn't be able to tell. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think just because it's got shitty quality from the older movie. I think they're trying to uh, turn it into a Mandela effect when it's not. His leg is gold. Well, yeah. I know. Okay. This one, meet the Flintstones. Flintstones. Yeah, I don't, Flint Flintstones. because they're... Yeah. They're Way wet. Do you then. remember Flintstones? Like it's Flint because of cavemen made things out of Flint rocks. No, and stuff. it was always Flintstones. Me there was no Why would it be called there was Flintstones? Not two, there was not Flintstones, because that's their name, Flintstones. Everything in that cartoon is You weren't like, even born when the cartoon came out. You have no say in it. You weren't this. born when Star Wars came out. But I've watched it. <laughs> so I've watched the Flintstones. Okay, let's the let's Flintstones. see let's hear the theme song and let's see if it says Flintstones or Flintstones. Well, of course they're not going to exaggerate the T. Yeah. <laughs> Knife. Yeah, yeah, do ba do time. Flintstones meet the Flintstones. Flintstones meet the Flintstones. Flintstones. I can hear the T. No, you can't. They don't, they don't say it anymore. Flintstones. 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 Meet the Flintstones. <laughs> not Flintstone. Not like Flint, Meet Michigan. The Flint. Everything is Flintstones. Everything is like a runoff of being way back then. You know what I mean? Like a play on words. Well, they're going to remember your name being spelled with a PH. Well, I have it spelled. I ordered food from the place next to us. And I said, I said, can I get a name? I was like, yeah, Joseph. And he spelled it J-O-S-H-E-P-H. <laughs> <laughs> Joseph. <laughs> I thought you were going to say he spelled it J-O-S. Well, that's, that's because yeah. like, well, that's your list. It it did sound like Joseph. Said, Joseph. Well, the- I'm Joseph. Joseph Fresh. Joseph. I'm going to talk to you real nice and smooth. This is how I like to say. The- when I order food, and then I then it gets smelled. And then it gets the spelled. girls get all wet when I talk to them like this. They always get when I talk spit. like this. <laughs> it's like, hey, Joseph. I'm like, hey, Joseph. How you? My name's Joseph. Uh, g- this guy, he, he <laughs> spelled my name J O H E P H. And I don't know why he said that. This I told him my name is Joseph. This is my name. My name is Joseph. My name is Joseph. Yes. And this, this guy just keeps on spelling my name wrong. Jo- Joseph, when I order my food, this is what I say. My name is Joseph. Are you done? <laughs> Are you done now? Let's talk about Chartreuse. So, uh, not when my name is my, Joseph. My, um... Uh, Sorry for turning you on. Your name, name is Joseph? Also spelled it J-O-E-S-P-H. Why? I don't know. Josue, so Uh What is this next one, Jacob? Hey, now, now I don't remember how to spell Joseph. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> like idiot! I mess up on his and you, I mess up on his and Daniel. How do you every spell now Joseph? You just said they J- spelled it J O S E P H. No, they spelled it J O E S P H. 
Oh, E S P J O S E P H is how you spell Joseph. Joseph. <laughs> Joseph. <laughs> That's because you win. Uh, Joseph. My name's <laughs> Joseph. My Joseph. name's Jehoshaphat. I didn't do it with the freaking list. My name's Josephine. Uh, you need to put that cover on the mic because you're spitting from your list. This is my <laughs> mic. I can spit all over if I want. You're, oh, you're he wants to slob on, on, on that mic. You're spitting on the you're mic. You're making all the ladies who are listening to us. Get all wet, oh man. You, you need to get off your mic. I just want to apologize, please. I want to apologize. I want to apologize to all the women out there listening, getting all wet, listening to my voice because I'm talking like Joseph. I'm just sorry. Are you saying that people, girls get wet from listening to Joseph speak? Yeah, because girls like it when you talk like this to them. And you whisper in their ear, Joseph. <laughs> Joseph. They're, are they like, say his name again. Say your name again. And say it softly. They go, Joseph. Joseph. Can we move on <laughs> to the next one, please? Uh, they go, hi. Uh. I don't know what. No, the except you get except that I don't know except, where that one was going. Except at. they go, oh yeah, say it to me like that. Say it again. Yeah, yeah. Again. <laughs> say it to Make me. Make fun of Jacob now. Again. Say Voice it. break. <laughs> say uh, it. Uh, say uh, it. Let's spend twenty talk minutes like making fun of Jacob now. I'm gonna talk like this from now on, just so I can have a All deep right. voice. So what's the next one, Jacob? The next one is chartreuse. I don't. I've never chartreuse? heard of this one. Chartreuse. Um, chartreuse. Oh, I'm sorry. Chartreuse. Oh my god. Do Do you recall someone telling you that chartreuse is do a you, magenta pink color? Chartreuse. Do you guys know? No. <laughs> I thought magenta was a color of pink. Okay. That uh, I just had another Mandela effect. I thought magenta Joseph, was magenta pink. <laughs> Joseph, I remember Joseph talking like this. Joseph always used to talk like this, but now his voice trying to trying to. Kind of changed a little bit, right? What? Kind of China changed. China it kind of changed. <laughs> Let's Did start making fun change? of him. Oh, China, Jacob, and hey, China. <laughs> this is how I've always talked. <laughs> you have guys. to make that face too when you talk. Yeah, yeah, I have. It's <laughs> the only way for well, him this to is be. The way I always talk. <laughs> he, can, he can only make that <laughs> voice if his face squishes in. Goes. Yes. He gets a. I have to. I have to, like I have to squish my, my vocal face. cords together. Yes, to go the, hey, everybody, how you doing today? <laughs> this is how I talk. We've gotten way off track. <laughs> All right, back to the Mandela effect. Chartreuse. No I've, one cares about chartreuse. <laughs> okay. Yeah, nobody cares about the color. Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. But he says that his life mom was said, like life a box was chocolate. like a box of chocolates. Okay. First okay, of all, well, people can't hear right. That's not really a Mandela. Thing. Oh, okay. Millions That's of just people saying you didn't hear. Right. Millions of people never heard the the. You gotta stop talking right. like that. It's throwing me off. <laughs> you gotta talk normal. Um, <laughs> uh, Why? I I wanna hold on. <laughs> Let me see how I say. Probably freaking blowing up. I would have to say on this life is like a box of. It had to have been life is like a box of chocolates. Play not, that. Play it. Let's see what life, it says. Uh, life. My mom always used to say life was like. And was she dead? Yes. Life was but like. Mom's not, dead. not when he Past told tense. but not when he told her that. Mama used to always say life is like a box of chocolates. Why would mama always say life was like a box? Hey, son, life was like a box of chocolates. It's not like a box of chocolates. It's like it was a box of chocolates. You, you know, my, well, you life go- used to be oh like my that. God. But, but now it is like that. <laughs> you, you understand what I'm saying? It used to be like it why, was like that. <laughs> why is he doing a voice? I have no idea. I gotta do a radio voice. Hey guys, I'm here. You know, guys, you I used to say think- you should have did that for three guys in a drink. Yeah, There's another did, podcast. And you should have did that at the beginning. By the way, everyone listening, yeah. listen to three guys in a drink. Every week we have another drink. Listen to it. It comes out uh, on YouTube. On podcasts, Every week. stations, and we are going out to you on different channels for different weeks and well, different PJ, strokes. Well, PJ, that was great. For different <laughs> You're kind of just dragging it on here. This is how I sound. <laughs> this is how I talk. I don't know what they're talking about. Uh, I've always talked like this my whole life. Like I'm on radio. Listen to 9079 KFM. 
All right. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my bet on life is like a box of chocolates and not what the are saying is original, which is life was like a box of chocolates. Why would life be? Why would I, life, rem- I what, remember it being life is like a box of chocolates? Yeah. Why would it be? Why would they write a script that says life was like a box of chocolates? All right. Let's if, take a look. And you know, Tom life. Hanks said I was talking to Tom the other day. We were having lunch. And he told me, Jacob, don't believe him what they say. It was I never said life was like it. They changed the movie. They used uh, a deep fake voice to change it, to confuse people. To The Illuminati wants everyone to think that that's what it said. But let me go ahead and play it, and let's see what uh, my friend Tom says in this movie where he played Forrest Gump. Wait, I he's your friend? Thomas. Uh, yeah, we're really close. Uh, we're really good friends. We just had lunch the other week. I'm also friends with his son. That's how we met. I What's was his son's with- name again? Wait, <laughs> yeah, what's the son's name? Uh, you know, Tom Alex. Hanks' son, <laughs> Alex. Oh, okay. Does he make that? Uh, I don't know. Did, I just did, made that up. Did he make? That, <laughs> did he make that song, "White Boy Summer"? Yeah, I know. Chet. He's, Chet's the. Uh, I was gonna the son. He doesn't talk about Chester. Yes, me and Chet are friends. And then when I went to Chet's house, I met his dad, Tom. And me and Tom, we just had so much in common. Tom, look at the picture of him and his son. Of uh, my friend Chet, you mean? Yeah, look, he he looks. Tom Hanks looks like he's disappointed in his son in that picture. <laughs> like, uh, this is yeah, my son. <laughs> I just got to take a picture next to my son, so we well, don't talk about. I Chet. honestly don't think Tom Hanks cares look what his son does because that. he's like a mil- He's Tom Hanks is worth like. Tom told me like he was worth like almost five hundred million, maybe Whoa. even more. We don't talk okay. about Chet. But you see, Chet is an Illuminati member because oh, Tom made him go yes, into the Illuminati. Yes, That's why he has yes. the Illuminati eye in the center of his so chest. So let's, let's move is, on to the he's next. He's actually uh, a high-level member so of the Illuminati. So let's move on to the next um, well, we got Mandela a, Effect one. Well, I'm, well, Tom told me it said life is like a box of chocolate. He's so also I wanna the sh- biggest I want to I wanna listen oh, okay. to it. All right, do it. Well, you took the freaking five minutes going around the well, stupid ass thing. So what's my friend Chet's name? What's my friend Chet's <laughs> name? That was you saying you're friends with him. And you said his yes, name was, I am friends. And you said his name was Kevin. Why don't you go and ask him and see if I'm not friends with him? Why don't you play the freaking video you should have played ten minutes ago? Chet, this one's for you, baby. Oh my <laughs> God. I can't hear it. My name's Forrest. I can't hear Forrest it. Gump. Put it closer. There's nothing's happening yet. This is just silence. You want a chocolate? I could eat about a million and a half of these. My mom always said life was like a box of chocolates. Life was like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. You see, the problem with that is every box of chocolates has a little chocolate map on there. It tells you exactly what's in there. But life was, was like, like a box of chocolates. My mama used to always tell me life was like a box of chocolates. So your whole thing about it is <laughs> grammar-wise. Well, I mean. It's not so much the Mandela effect. It's just the grammar-wise. But, you know, he kind what of. You want, you want life. You want Life is like a box of chocolates. Not life was a box of chocolates. He's he's living now. He's living his best and life. Everybody's saying that the lady's name who he was in love with was Jenny when it was Jenny. <laughs> oh, that's true. That's true. I remember and it being Jenny. And I was talking to Tom and Chet. Chet was there too at the lunch, but <laughs> I forgot. Uh, <laughs> he was like, yeah, everybody thinks it's Jenny, but it was Jenny. So I just thought I'd throw that out there. Nice pit stains, by the way. So I have to say that being so freaking hot in life here. life wasn't like a box of chocolates. I'm living life right now and it is a box of chocolates. And most of the time I don't know what I'm gonna get. How do you know he wasn't Life is his mom wasn't talking to him like when she was From the grave? about to die. He was she was like, Oh, life was like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. Because he's Talking to, she's talking to him. Life is like a box of chocolates, my no, little forest. Yeah, but forest. What if she's like my little on forest her bed, and he tells my li- Oh, okay. So she was like, oh, "My little forest. Let me tell you." Life, didn't say about little life, or anything. Life is like. You just said my mama used to tell me. Life is like a box of chocolates. 
You never know what you're going to get. Sometimes you get the little peanut chocolates. Sometimes you get the caramel. Get the Sometimes peanuts. I talk like this and people say, that's not your voice, but <laughs> it is my voice. <laughs> I have a very obnoxious, loud voice. Sometimes there are some peanuts in my chocolate that I drop in the <laughs> oh, toilet. <laughs> I love when there's little peanuts treats in my chocolate. All right, so let's go to the next one, Jacob. Yeah, now yeah. that we've had, our I had to talk in that voice time. to get you off the freaking subject. Oh yeah, that's why you did it. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? It was not that. In fact, it was magic mirror on the wall. Satan, demon, worshiping Illuminati, I, you know, I thought, make this happen. I thought it was mirror, mirror on the wall too, but I remember rewatching it. A few oh, years well, of ago, course, it's a f- and it says magic mirror. I was like, hey, wasn't it mirror, mirror on the wall? Like I remember it being well. Mirror, mirror of on course, the wall. we're in the another universe where well, it's magic mirror. Uh, on I the only wall. remember watching manly uh, cartoons, so I don't remember this girly one here. You don't remember uh, watching sorry, Snow sorry Wife? You didn't have a good childhood. No, I don't remember <laughs> watching Snow Wife. Snow White. What the? It's Snow Wife. I thought okay. it was Snow White. That's what I thought. It's Snow Wife and the Seven Midgets. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? So she just lived with seven old men? Yeah. It's kind of weird, huh? <laughs> seven old midget men. Miners. She lived with miners. I think there was only one miner. I, you think it? You the think little the, bald one. <laughs> you think Dopey? This, Dopey was the... Can old. you name them? Huh? Name the seven doors. So the seven doors, you got... Um, Dumpy. <laughs> <laughs> you got Grumpy. Dopey. You got Grumpy. Dopey. Sneezy. Dopey, anxiety, <laughs> anxiety, <laughs> depression, <laughs> suicide. <laughs> Please help. So I'm bashful, gonna say you got Doc, sneezy. Sleepy, Dopey, Grumpy, Happy, Bashful, and Sneezy. Oh, I'm glad you just Googled it. <laughs> okay, first of all, we're this, suicide. <laughs> we're, yeah, where's we're, he's dead? <laughs> where's clinical depression at? <laughs> okay, first of all, this one. He didn't wear green clothes and a purple hat. <laughs> what did he wear? Yes, he did. He wore a magenta hat with dark <laughs> green clothes. <laughs> and forest green. All righty. Next Whatever slide. Next is. slide for the Man- Mandela effect number 22, guys. Wait, how did they get this 24, kid 24. when it's just a bunch of dudes? How did they get Dopey? I think Dopey's just an old man with no hair. <laughs> oh, <laughs> maybe he doesn't grow any facial hair or anything. But they all have big noses, but he just has a small nose. What? That's why he's called Dopey. And he's the only one with ears, because all the rest of them don't got ears. Well, that's because they're hidden behind the, they're the all caps. wearing caps. Caps. <laughs> I think this Haps. whole this whole show is a euphemism for a pedophile woman who likes to live with her seven dwarves. You, so there, are you, and she gives are you them saying that all. That it's just a bunch of young kids dressed up as old men. No, it's a you. So like it's, they are not really men. They're actually a bunch of minors. That's why it's called. That's why they're all minors. And the old woman is trying to kill her because she's a pedophile. Oh, is that why they're just dwarves? No, that's why they're minors. Who are little people? Dwarf now, miners. What do you call children? Little well, people. Well, why is it when they're going there, they call her a hoe? Yeah. They they're say, like, hey, ho. Hi, ho. Okay, and if you look, <laughs> and ho. if you bring up the picture of Snow White, her arm is out holding up her dress, uh-huh. mate, and then you have uh, Frumpy or Doc. <laughs> frumpy? Uh, <laughs> there's not even a Frumpy. <laughs> uh, if you look into it. <laughs> You're taking this one too far. <laughs> Just end it. Just end it, Jacob. You can see there's a there's a Illuminati triangle. There's a uh, frumpy, <laughs> frumpy there. Illuminati confirmed. <laughs> By the way, guys, what is a frump? Isn't that like uh... so? So for the listeners, for the listeners, guys, if you all remember in your Mandela Effect yeah. world, do you remember Frumpy? In the, Dude, in, there's in the totally a frumpy. there was Frumpy, episode, uh, Lumpy, Jumpy, <laughs> Dumpy. Chumpy. Oh, what about I, cummy? I just remember <laughs> suicide and depression. I don't remember suicide. the other one. Anxiety, suicide, depression, 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 depression. All right, so All right. Luke, I am your father. He's, what, did, what did he say? What he really said was, I am your father. So he never said Luke. He, he said, said, I thought he says, oh, no, Luke, Luke, I am your father. I no, am Luke. your father. Well, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and check. Let's go yeah. ahead. 
I thought he said, no, Luke, I am your father. Luke. Oh, so no one just heard anything we said. You can go ahead and skip. You killed my father. Let yourself be destroyed as Obi-Wan did. Don't make me destroy you. Luke, you do not yet realize your importance. You have only begun to discover your power. Join me. Power. And I will complete your training. Conflict. And only knew the old you. He told me you killed him. No. Why did I don't remember Luke getting like a devil voice when he responded to it. <laughs> This guy starts talking as soon as he says the line. <laughs> Did y'all also know it was a black guy doing the voice, but they made a white man? Yeah, when he take him. Mm-hmm. Well, that was because Luke w- at one point was gonna have. Oh, corn but rolls, it wouldn't make any sense but, uh, if it was a black guy <laughs> when he lifted up his. <laughs> so it kind of makes sense. <laughs> I just thought guy tried to make it racist when. <laughs> I just thought about it. It wouldn't make sense if it and was here, a black I was guy. Make a joke He's about <laughs> Skywalker <laughs> having cornrows. I'm your father. No, and he takes off. He goes, "Oh, so you're not my father." <laughs> <laughs> I just thought about that. Okay, so um, he did say, "Luke, I am your father." No, he says, actually, no, I remember it from way father. back in the back back in the day when you were young. We are not a kid anymore, but some days you sit and wish you were a kid again. Uh, n- I never wish I was a kid again. Only just to like buy Bitcoin. That's the only reason why I would want to be a kid again. Did you buy Bitcoin when you were a kid? <laughs> I should have. <laughs> I freaking should have. <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> oh God! I should have bought the Bitcoin when I could. <laughs> oh God! So you hear about people going, "You should have bought the Bitcoin. You should have bought the Bitcoin." <laughs> Who do you know or have heard of has bought the Bitcoin at the lower price and now is like a millionaire? Uh, I don't know them personally, but do you know of I them? knew of a lot of people who are like, "Buy the Bitcoin! Buy the Bitcoin!" Did they buy the Bitcoin themselves? Yes, they were shilling it like the biggest shills you've ever seen. <laughs> and who are these people? I don't know who they are. I you just... obviously have not seen the biggest shill I've ever shilled. Seen. <laughs> they all talk like this. Oh, not like that. Ooh. What? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I should have bought the Bitcoin when I had Can the Can we get chance. back to the Mandela effect you next sound- week, please? <laughs> yeah, because you sound like uh, the thing you didn't... <laughs> this guy has nothing. He's gonna be a lot all of editing. Day long. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of editing for this guy. Uh, no, it's not. Today's I'm, just not. I'm your leaving. Day, I'm it? just leaving it all in. You're gonna um, leave it raw. So I remember back back in the, well, PT freaking distracted me back back in the day when it, but but they. Well, no, you're so back I in the day when you're always cutting. saying, oh, "No, he never says, Luke, I am your father.'" Hmm. Okay, what? Hello, he says, this. fly, you fools. He doesn't say run. I don't remember no. that at all. Yeah. He says, run, you fool. <laughs> no, he's never said run. He says, fly. He says, run, you fools. <laughs> that doesn't sound run, right. you fools. Yeah, like that. that doesn't... Fly, you fools. No, the run sounds better. Run, you fools. Yeah, that one, that one, that was it. You see, I think, you see, we both think it sounds better. So you think they spent millions of dollars on this movie. And they didn't test it. They were like, I don't think they spent it. I think God, they just went fool. by the book. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Did y'all know Lord of the Rings was a book? Uh, books. It was multiple books? I thought it was just one giant book. This thing is a laptop screen. <laughs> I thought it was just as big as the Bible. What? Bigger. What? Yeah, he says fly, you fools. I don't know he anyone says that's, run. says run. It doesn't make any sense. Fly, you fools. They didn't have birds. Maybe, maybe it was. Oh, you know what? He did say fly, you fools, but they thought he meant that he said run, you fools. That's why they didn't get on the giant moth or whatever thing that Eagles? he flew. The giant eagle he flew on. This guy, it was parked back outside. And he was like, 
fly, you fools. They're coming. But they're like, oh, no, let's run. They, they ran past the airplane jet. So instead <laughs> of like, well, <laughs> wish we could use so that instead jet. Of, well, that could have fit all of us comfortably. We would have gotten there pretty so soon. So instead and, of uh, flying the Eagle to Mordor, they all just walked there. <laughs> like, idiots. How, and almost died multiple times. Yeah, how can we make this into a smuggle. real adventure? They might smuggle though. I wanted, thought Daniel quit the show. Tetras are nasty. <laughs> Gandalf Tetras wanted us. are nasty, master. Tetras. You're a pretty good <laughs> I don't even know what to do this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if I'm going to be able to do it again. Talk regular? After. Okay. Now do it. I can't, uh, can't. Say taters. Taters. Say what are taters? What are, ta- what are taters? Say master, what are taters? Master. Master. What are taters? You're starting master. to do like a Yoda. Yeah, you're starting to lose. You're starting yeah. to go like Muppets. What a Tatum. What a Tatum's <laughs> master. Where do I have to go? That's. Where do I have to go? What a Tatum's master. Now do. Uh, I have to go up Now do Mark. Gollum. Oh. Gollum. Gollum. That is Gollum, isn't it? Yeah. But when no, he goes Gollum. Gollum's the evil side of him. Tatum's. No. Stop it. Gollum. No. Ring. Mine. Ring. Tatum's. Okay, I'll, I'll okay. You, I'll give you that. I'll you're, give you uh, that. Yeah, you're doing a pretty okay. good impression. Next, next one. Now. Hello, oh, Clarice. Hello, Clarice. Good morning, Clarice. Good I want to lick your butt. Good morning, Clarice. Clarice. Good morning, Clarice. Are you going to spread you your know, lips actually, for me? You know, actually, when I heard about this particular Mandela effect, I went and played the sh- movie over again just so I can hear this one particular part. And you know what he said? What? Good morning, Clarice. Well, duh, that's why you're in another universe, so it's going to be... Why does be, it say good morning, Clarice? Why is it... It's not a. F- it's not about being a false memory. Because everybody... It's about being transferred to another universe where he says... Something Hello, completely Clar- different. Where he says Because everybody morning. remembers him saying... Hello, Clarice. And then she farts and goes... <laughs> <laughs> sniffs it all up. <laughs> I don't remember that part, but it could have happened. She queefed and he's like... Smelled something like that. And what's the what's the what's this next one? What's this next? I'll one? stir fry your vagina. Oh, and your favorite song, <laughs> the Mandela the Effect, is here to ruin it all. We all think of the Mer- Fed- Freddie Mercury belting okay. out of the world. Okay, how's my of- Freddie Mercury impression? Of the world, of the world. You got Smeagol. he never did that at the that end it. of the song. <laughs> you got some eagle. That was. Uh, it. I, I can do it now. I remember the how to lose my world. Wait, are now they go, saying that he never said <laughs> of the world? He never goes, <laughs> are the champions of, of the, the world. world. Yeah, he never does that, apparently. I I think everyone finished the song like that themselves. You know what I mean? Like everyone put that at the end of it for themselves. I like, mean, you can totally world. tell that Freddie Mercury was gay. I thought he was bisexual. That's why he made the song bisexual, bisexual. <laughs> I want to be a bisexual. I think that you're right. I think you're correct. Bisexual. <laughs> that, that makes sense. That makes sense. I want to be bisexual. <laughs> I want to but be. But <laughs> th- that's what he meant when he was. The, the bicycle was just. That's a, why I emphasize bi. Bicycle. Bicycle. I want to ride my car. <laughs> I want to ride. I apparently, Freddie, apparently, Freddie Mercury's cock was so long he would stick it in his own butthole. They have pictures. <laughs> Look them up, folks. Look up. Man sticks his cock in his own butthole. <laughs> Don't look that up. We're gonna go ahead and cut that. Cut that out. Oh God. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> go ahead. Is it gay On if you do that? Excellent. Is that gay if you were to, if you could do that? Would is that is gay? it gay to suck your own dick? Yes, we already we went this on the last podcast. No, that's sucking your parallel universe's dick. This is your own. Yes, it's still gay because you shouldn't have <laughs> a penis you, in your mouth. What if you what if you stick your own weenus penis in your butthole? Is that gay? Yes. But it's not gay because you're doing it to yourself. It's just masturbation. That's like that's like if you wipe your butt and you wipe too hard and you get a little finger in your butt. <laughs> you go, Ooh. is that gay? <laughs> no, no, it's not gay. Well, it was an accident. And you go, Ooh. and sometimes, sometimes <laughs> you know what's gay is if you stick your own finger in your butt constantly. But what if you want? That's to, gay. So what if, if you stick your own penis in? Well, your butt? what if you stick that's it in there too. just? What if you stick it in there just Uh-oh. a little bit to get that dookie? <laughs> that's just at the hole. Well, you're cleaning yourself. Well, if you leave your pinky finger. Nail really long so you can get that crust out when you don't wipe well. Well, that's not gay because you're cleaning yourself. I don't think that's it's hygiene. If, guys, if you're able to bang yourself, I think it's or masturbation. Or if you're able to suck your own self, that's not gay. 
It ain't gay. Sucking cock ain't gay. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's gay. That's pretty but gay. He, putting cocks in your butt isn't gay. In the words of what's it, in the words of what's his name from uh, what's that show? College, community college, I never, Com- community. Oh, it's community. <laughs> gay. That's all I can say about that. I didn't even know how it goes. I've never seen that's that show. Says, says gay. He goes, ha, gay. There you go. That uh, one. Didn't even know. But, <laughs> okay, that's like gay. saying, you, you know what? That's <laughs> a Mandela effect. Gay. I remember him saying, gay. You just more <laughs> reference to what I that, said. Than that's like saying, oh, <laughs> if you jack off, that's gay because you're giving yourself a hand job. Because you're touching a dick. It's like, no, I can deep throw my own dick. It's just masturbation. Okay, what about if you can, <laughs> what, what about if you, what if your balls hang so low you can suck on them? Oh my God. Are we, what are the next one? What if my balls hang I low do. and they wobble to and fro? Dude, what if, can I throw them on my back? I, <laughs> can I tie dude, them in the bow? What if somebody <laughs> practiced ball stretching? <laughs> Just so they can so, suck on their own balls. I'm sure someone does. <laughs> I would stretch out Check my balls. Check it out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Whipping him around like a watch. <laughs> what? what? How did you get that gum? To, how did you get that gum to do? Why that? is that gum so long and hairy? <laughs> and you put ball stretching. <laughs> it's my ball stretching, <laughs> sister. Why did you put Here, mom? Have a little chew. <laughs> It's a superhero where his superpowers stretched out balls that are really hard. Come here, bank robber. You're going nowhere. And Help, just, you're suffocating. What about, what about gunshots? I never get shot. They're so distracted. <laughs> he pulls it up like they're, just, they're so distracted by my gum. <laughs> okay, next. <laughs> Let's go to number 28. No. Let's go to number 28, they, they tied me up and sucked on my gum. It was terrible. It We're was barely on 28 and 40. <laughs> oh, God. I cracked myself up. Yeah, I was, Mr. Raj. I was laughing very hard. <laughs> it was not well, I don't think tea. <laughs> ball stretching isn't <laughs> funny. It just didn't. You don't, you're not interested in ball stretch mechanics? It what is did, that? It, did, it just didn't tickle my you fancy. Mean, Remember they didn't tickle your ball sack? <laughs> Alrighty. Sucking on your own So balls. another Mandela <laughs> effect for the listeners out there. Okay. Mm-hmm. So Mr. Rogers was saying, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day You don't day have to do impressions for every single <laughs> slide Whoa. that we go through. Won't okay. you be mine? Oh, Won't God, you, you be this mine? One doing it now. Children, Won't you be I my love neighbor? Children. But I Let's take a look at the map. I always thought he started the song <laughs> off with... It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, a beautiful day in the neighborhood, a beautiful day for a neighbor. No? Okay, so you might start singing the lyrics. What? It's a beautiful it. day in you the neighborhood, wrong. especially with the day in the neighborhood. But even it's the a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Wrong. It's a beautiful day in the It's <laughs> What? <laughs> oh, it's not it's a beautiful day in the It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. <laughs> Um, I got Jacob with the rotation mark. It's not, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> I like how they wrote this article. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's her name? Blake. <laughs> it's not, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. It's, it's a, a beautiful, beautiful day, day in the neighborhood. neighborhood. Let's see what. Yes, <laughs> a beautiful day in the neighborhood. She wrote that pretty well. This like is that. the only one. Let's look at Blake. Okay. Oh, she's an associate editor. No wonder that's She's a former through. editor, associate editor of Good Housekeeping. Covering beauty, celebrity. But associate, so it's, meaning low level, <laughs> just starting. So it's a beautiful in the day, a day in the neighborhood is wrong. It's a it's beautiful. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood <laughs> is right. The correct wording is a beautiful day in the neighborhood. It's a beautiful Let's day in the neighborhood. Let's go to number 29. Won't you be mine? Won't you be mine? Won't you be? What is this? The number of U.S. states. The answer is correct. 50, obviously. But yeah, some foreigners recall learning that there are 52. That well, is that's, true. That's they, the territories that we own. <clears throat> they do. Like Guam and uh, <clears throat> The reason some foreigners remember this. Puerto Rico. Is because yeah. they would actually teach them that there were 52 states. And I only know this because there's this guy I listened to his podcast. And he grew up in the Netherlands. 
Mm-hmm. And he said that his teacher said there was 52 states. And he was like, no, there's only 50 states. And his teacher was like, there's only 52. You don't know what you're talking about, American kid. Why is uh, Michigan missing the top? Why isn't it's it not missing in? the top. It's always <laughs> it been like that. It's always looked it like it. Did we uh, just discover it a Mandela like effect? A, like a butt was sitting on it. No, yeah, it's got the <laughs> <laughs> booty cheeks. It's got the mitten shape, but the top is also Michigan. That piece right there. Yeah. So why isn't it colored in? I would say that they probably say that because of the territories of uh, Guam and Puerto Guam Rico. Guam and Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. <laughs> Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Chepata. And we don't say. Juan, we say Juan. Juan? That's how they say it. We say Juan. Juan? Juan. Also, why is it... Where's Juan? Kansas, but then it's Juan. not Ark Kansas. Because you know... It's, uh, American words. Ark Kansas. <laughs> English. <laughs> there it is. Sinbad never played a genie. This is a lie. I remember watching the I movie. remember Shaq playing a genie. Yes, I do. Yes. But I do remember Sinbad playing a genie as well with these two little white kids. He went into the mm-hmm. white kids, and he always be dealing with the white kids, mm-hmm. and then he was a genie with the white kids. Sounds like Kazam. Nope. <laughs> Kazam and Shazam. Well, because Shazam was a uh, white-skinned uh, black dude <laughs> genie. I never remember. I, I don't remember. That was like before my time. I was too young. I remember it, and I remember him being a genie. Yeah, I remember watching this movie, too. Yeah. I don't. So what, they, what they've said about this particular one is like, no, he played a some kind of pirate in a pirate movie, and that's where we're getting it from. Like, no, he was a pirate in that movie, but he also played a genie in another movie, whether it was a Shazam or if it was something else. Maybe it was a different movie. Maybe it was another name. And that kind of makes sense because when movies come out, they kind of start like their own genre where it's like, oh, all the vampire crap that came out a few years yeah. ago and then zombies. I wouldn't d- deny that some like Kazam because and then the Shazam. The reason I say out. that is because I remember when the one with Shaq came out, the Kazam, and I was like, oh, this is just a dumb uh, spinoff of the one we- that Sinbad did. It literally was almost like the same storyline. But one was with Sinbad, the other one was with uh, Kazam. And Kazam was actually just about one kid. Mm-hmm. Shaquille O'Neal. Yeah, with Shaquille O'Neal, the Kazam one was only about the one boy. Mm-hmm. When with Sinbad, it was a boy and a girl. You remember the one where Shaquille O'Neal was like a robot or something? <laughs> yes, yeah, Steel. It's Steel. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember that. That didn't exist in my universe. See, uh, in my universe, there was never. Steel. No, you're in the universe right now and it exists. It's called Steel. Well, not in my universe. Smokey the Bear. Yeah, I felt like I was going to spend a lot more time in that Sinbad one, but it kind of oh, ended pretty quickly. I read this Smokey the Bear, <laughs> but that's the. Mandela effect. It was never Smokey the Bear. It's Smokey Bear. What? Oh, Smokey Bear. It was Smokey the Bear. Yes, it was. These freaking people are just trying to manipulate. They're trying to MK Ultra us. This is the CIA, the MIA, the BIA, the FBI, the NSA, MLB, NBA, the NFL, the, the MI6, C- the CNN, the MSNBC, and FOX. Can you believe they got all these people under their thumb? There's nobody under going. mine. Is this a war? Probably. I don't even know where the hell I got it from. From your butt. Oh, uh, you got it from some you. girl that had genital warts. Oh, genital warts. Shit. Genital stop, warts. I should stop fingering women with my thumb. <laughs> Do I sound like the guy so from the Family genital guy? warts? Hey, Peter. No, you don't. Joe no. Swanson. Do I, ha- Do I have to go deeper? You no, hey. you just don't sound like <clears> him. <throat> hey. Hey, Peter. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, Peter. <laughs> you're not getting deeper. You're just getting louder. All right. Mandela Effect. Smokey, Smokey Bear. It's called he's Smokey Bear, not Smokey the Bear. Tank Man. And I got an unavailable. Oh, watch on YouTube. I don't want to watch on YouTube. I'm going to watch. Okay. Uh, well, let's read what it says. In perhaps the most memorable moment during 1982, the Tiananmen Square protector of when Joseph... Oh. 1989, re- recollections of the event vary. Some say the unidentified man as Tank Man was run over, run over and killed, but other videos show him moving away from the scene. I remember him walking away. I never remember yeah, him being run over and killed. I don't remember killed. him being ran over and killed. Play he the got video. killed because... He stops and then he just walks... After no, it runs off, over and like, kills him. No, 
it doesn't. Yeah, that's why they made the monument for him because he was so no, brave. No, because he got taken away by the police and he was yeah. never heard from or seen again. It was not. It was not about him. And and he's the only one prob- that stopped the tanks. They, that's why they probably okay, folks, did kill him. But we're watching it right now. You can look it up. It's called oh, Tank they, Man. They, they definitely killed him. He gets ran over. No, he doesn't he get doesn't, run dude. over. He tells him, "Get out of here." Turn them tanks around, you know, boy. Get on out of here, you tanks. You don't get on, Bill. Get out of here. This road's made for cars, not tanks. He, he was a he was an Asian man. He was a Chinese man with a country accent. Yeah, he was like, "Get on out of here." I don't want a Chinese you man. You come country, here, Southern U.S. No, no. country accent. And he's like, accent. "I'm not gonna let you go this way either." I like. I how, swear he got chill bag. I can't see the screen right. Now. <laughs> oh. Jeez, I swear he got killed. He's like, "Get on out of here." No. I'm going. You can't come this way either. I don't know. You can't do this way. I'm gonna stand right here in front of you. I don't understand why they didn't just run him over then. And then a sassy black woman came out of, Mm-mm, you better get your tank <laughs> out of here. I don't think so. And then he gets on a tank. He's like, who's in that tank? I'm going to get you. Get, get out of that tank, boy. And then he like, starts doing Michael Jackson dance on the tank. No, I that remember. guy got killed. I remember the Michael Jackson dance. I swear this guy got killed. Oh, uh, no, he, I think he did get killed, but not from r- being run over not by a from tank. The, yeah, not from the tanks. They they all pulled him away and said, be careful. And then he got uh, kidnapped by the police, and then he died. No, he got ran over and killed. No. I never remember Carry that. on to the next one. That's yeah, that's why, why they made, made like, the statue and stuff for him, because they were like, this brave kid stood up in front of him and got murdered. Anyways, no on from death. What Neil Armstrong? Yeah, he died a long time ago. I don't. I don't. Well, I don't remember when he died. I think people are mistaking him with like Buzz Aldrin too. Yeah, they probably got them both backwards. Yeah, because they're stupid people. And backwards stupid faces, memories. No, they're saying that nobody remembers him dying. Like they don't remember the news oh. of being like, oh, yeah, Neil Armstrong died. How? That's gigantic news. And that's really? that, that's like yes, twenty twenty twelve. 2012. 2012. You know, they say that the world ended in 2012. Because of the Mayan calendar thing? Yeah. And that we're all just dead and we're just mm. living it up. Yep. It's living it up in fake like, land. It's not even, they just, that's just with the Mayan calendar stopped. We're, we're just living so it up in fake land right now. But what if we are dead? <laughs> like six cents style? Yeah. Where are all the okay. living? Man, why are we. Wasting our time doing this. Billy Graham. People are questioning Billy Graham's death. Okay. I don't feel like this is a I don't know who fact. Billy Graham is. Mother Teresa. People have strong opinions about when Mother Teresa was canonized as a saint. The real event happened in 2016, but many remember her entering sainthood in 1990. I don't know, and in I the do 1990s. not care. In the 1990s. Yeah, I don't remember either. That one is uh, not a Mandela effect for me. <laughs> Though the uh, Space Shuttle Challenger explosion, though the tragic accident took place on January 28th, 1986, there are a number of people who thought it happened in 1984 or 1985. Okay. That's, what? So you just got the year wrong? Yeah, they're just okay, misremembering well. the year, which happens all the time. Yeah, I do it all the time. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I was born in 1980. But then they tell me I was wrong. <sighs> the Lungberg baby. When Eddie Vader Charlie's infant son was kidnapped, the entire world focused their attention on the story. Many remember the cold, the case going cold, but they sadly found the body and sentenced the killer to death for the heinous, heinous crime. crime. Chinese go back. Yeah, I remember that though. Chinese retreating. Jap spurn peace. Excellent. 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 <laughs> Excellent. Though the actor sadly died after being diagnosed with pancreatic cancer, people are saying. They remember him recovering. Yeah, he had a slight recovery. He went into remission, but then he got pancreatic cancer again. And died I uh, I never I like thought. kept up with it, so yeah, I don't remember if he like pancreatic cancer is probably one of the most deadliest cancers you can get because by the time you find out that you have pancreatic it's cancer, done. it's probably already too late. The Nardo DiCaprio's first uh, Oscar, Leo. Finally no took idea. home his first Oscar for Best Actor in 2016. Countless people argue he scored one much earlier. It's easy to get this one confused, though, because he was previously nominated five other times. 
I don't remember him winning anything, but I don't I, keep up with the Oscars either. So, yeah, I mean, they does. Location of Disney World Castle. If you've ever been to Magic Kingdom, do you recall where the castle was located? Some, some, even one Orlando local on Reddit clearly remembers it being the entrance to the park. But they're saying it's I never not the entrance of the park. It was deeper into like the park. It's always like a landmark inside of it. Yeah. Well, I always assume because I've never been, but. Oh, okay. So you from what I the pictures I've seen, so you have no say in this Mandela effect. <laughs> the pictures I've seen of it, if it's been what you say is a farce. What? It's a block. <laughs> it's a block. The pictures I've seen have it like in the middle or somewhere as an attraction, not as the entrance. Oh, I don't know. I don't really wait. The Magic Kingdom is the entrance. No. Some no, that's what some of them are saying that the Magic Kingdom that it was. Sh- it was always the entrance area. Why would they put the kingdom in the entrance? That's because that's where people like to build the kingdoms at, in the entrance. All right. Okay. Why? Another Mandela effect is, Lucy, you got some explaining to do. He never said that. Yeah, he did. What did he say? <laughs> it says, was never actually said in the iconic sitcom, I Love Lucy. The people who remember the famous catchphrase by Lucy's husband, Ricky Ricardo, as, Lucy, you have some explaining to do. Might be living I in a different universe like instead. That. Instead, Ricky was filmed saying, "Splain that if you can." Lucy said, "Splain." So he never said, "Lucy, you got some splaining to do." He would say, <laughs> "Splain that if you can," and she go, "Splain." <laughs> <laughs> I have to say that uh, I'm pretty sure he said, "You got some explaining to do." No, he didn't say explain. He said. Lucy. I didn't say explaining. I said explaining. No, you said, you got some explaining to do. No, I said, Lucy, Lucy. you I got remember. some explaining to do. He never had a accent either. He, he always used to go, Lucy, you've got some explaining to do. No, now give me my ring. Stupid habits. No. No? no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but he did say, Should Lucy, never you got moment. some explaining to do. So we went through quite a few Mandela Effect things that are happening. Some of them that we agree with, no, some of them that we don't. No, you're not wrapping this up. I'm not wrapping it up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not wrapping it up. I just I want to do a brief little break to let all of our friends know, all of our listeners, go down in the comments which one of the ones that we've done so far that you feel is a true... Mandela effect where you know for a fact that this was true, like Oscar Mayer, like um, Oscar Mayer. It's not Oscar Mayer or um, Pikachu's black tail. Um, African American tail. Bernstein, Barnstein bears. Let us know. Okay. Hit us up. Like, share, subscribe as well. And Jacob's about to give you more Mandela effects. And if any of these come out that you remember, then. Tell some at us, let us know what you think. Sketches. I remember it having a T in there. You see, I wasn't wrong. There is a Mandela effect about New Zealand is located right by Australia, but which side? Many people would argue that New Zealand is located on the northeast from Australia, but actually New Zealand is southeast. And I always thought it was the northeast too, like by like Philippines and all that. No, I thought it was... I do remember this, and I, I used to think it was in the northeast, like going towards Hawaii type New Zealand, mm. like that direction. But then I looked on a map, and I was like, oh, I thought wrong. And then I said, okay, it's in the right spot, southeast. Or did it move? Or did it move? I don't know. They're tiny. Maybe it? Maybe the ant people moved it with their technology. No, they put all their bodies together to f- make the island float and moved they it to the southeast. Because ant bodies oh, are Oh, yeah. Buoyant. See, I'm getting confused with Papua New Guinea. That That's probably where people get it wrong. Yeah, because it's that, that island shape, you know? They probably got it wrong with the Papas and the Guineas. The Papas and the Guineas. Papua New Guinea. So, anyways, Guinea. they're trying to say that this is a false memory. But I don't think it's a false memory. I think it's a real memory. So I guess this is the good time where you can tell us your thoughts on the Mandela effect. I already told him. If you think it's real. And if you have any other insight that would make them believe that it is real and not just false memories that we have. I can't prove it. I can't prove it because if you look at 
we looked well, at Forrest what, Gump? what makes you believe it so much? Because I remember. <laughs> because I remember. So how do you know they're just not false memories that you're remembering? Because my mom always used to say. What, what did she say? If you remember it, it happened. Okay. All right. And she hey, simple well, enough. Yeah. Well, I remember being rich, but it didn't seem to be true. So um, you must have not remembered correctly. Well, that's what I remember. He, he she just said, "If shut up." <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> no, but I don't know all these crazy Mandela effects, and I think there was a Mandela effect with the Cheeto guy, right? <laughs> the Cheeto right. Man. No, I don't remember. All right, Rose is in the here. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> well, before we end, I want to kind of get Jake Joseph's insight on the Mandela effect. How are you feeling about it now? You think it's more wh- a- after all uh, after showing all of those different Mandela possible effects? Do you think it is just a false memories, pseudo memories, or do you really think that there is some type of phenomenon? I think because all these things are, I just think it's false memories because all of these things, yeah, all of these things are from things people haven't seen in a while. Yeah. And then they come back to them and like, no, it was this. It was this. It's not like something they've seen every day. It's like it was Jiffy and then you go get to the grocery store next week. But how, do, how does Jif. every single person remember the same exact thing? And then you go to the grocery store next week <coughs> and it's called Jiff. You know, it's not like, well... It was Jiffy, and you can go back and kind of reference it. It's well, because you that never. They, it's something that they haven't seen in like years. Because you, know? you never think about it. You just grab the bottle. You don't say, "Is this Jiffy or is this Jiff?" You just grab the bottle. Yeah, but and you go. would notice because so you're like, "Oh, let me grab this can of Jiffy peanut butter." You're telling me you go and get things from the grocery store like Cheetos, and you don't say, "Oh, no, let me grab Cheetos," and you don't I, look at the bag. I don't look. Oh, is it? C H E E T O S or is it C H E T O S? I don't. I just see the so back. How would you know if it was different? Because then <laughs> somebody would be like, "Hey, have you noticed I that the Cheetos bag?" I wouldn't know it's different. Have you ever noticed that the Cheetos bag has one e? And then they're gonna and say, "No, because I never look at the packaging. I never see if it's C H E E T O S." Well, here's one thing. I know that those bags used to be like a dollar ninety nine, but on that bag it says four forty nine. <laughs> yeah. It's- Right. So no. I remember it's five dollars. Yeah, I remember them when being I like gr- when I grew or two I, dollars a bag. Yeah, when I grew up, I remember that stamp of the price on there used to be like one ninety nine, but now it's showing four forty nine. So it's Mandela effect, idiots. <laughs> but I know that I it, remember. I know. I remember when we used Cheetahs. to call and like three of them on there. I remember we used to call Cheetahs. No, I remember you Cheetah. <laughs> I remember when we used to call soda pop. I don't remember that it's at still all. Called soda pop. And then I remember when a soda used to cost a nickel, but now it costs probably like a dollar. Oh, I remember effect. you holding I in. Remember I remember holding you in my arms when you were born. I remember <laughs> when the world used to be in black and white, but now it's in color. Whoa! <laughs> I remember when there used to be no sound in the world. We used to just have to do crazy <laughs> motions to talk to each other. We, we, like and we were all dead. Whenever we wanted to talk. A black screen would pop up with white letters <laughs> and say what we were gonna say. What? It, it's having arguments must have been just yeah <laughs> awful. It kind of makes me think of a silent film. <laughs> Hurry up! What's your emergency? You know what's your emergency? <laughs> li- life used to be the silent film. Yeah, it used to be. Wow, it's that's crazy, crazy how much things have changed. You kids yeah. don't realize how great you have it. You can talk. You can see you colors. Know what, you know what another one is? There, I remember the te- the team in Texas used to be called the Oilers. But they're called the Texans. Did you know that? What? What? This whole no, time. because they had the oiler, like the oil rig. Yeah, but no, they're bulls. They're the what? Texans. No. What? Since when? I remember growing up, seeing the Houston Oilers. No, with they're the, the blue, the blue. They're the icon. Texans. What? I thought. Shut I, up. My mind's blown. Let too. me see. Let me look it up. Let's see this. Houston Texans o- Oilers. I, they're called the Oilers. Yeah, they're, yeah they're called the Houston Texans now. Wow. Look and they're a shitty Oilers? team. They, they, they were never the Oilers. It's always been the Texans. I mean, they're still <laughs> shitty. They lost 31-0, to zero, but. 
Wrap her up. All right. So for me, I have to say that there are, I believe, probably one or two actual Mandela effect phenomenons out there. What they are, I don't know. For me, I'm going to stick with the Oscar Mayer wieners. Uh, I'm going to go with the wiener theory and say that Oscar Mayer is spelled M-E-Y-E-R. That kid is Satan. Okay. That kid is Satan. So... Again, all of you guys listening, we appreciate you taking the time listening to our podcast. Comment below. Let us know which Mandela effect that you believe to be true. My two cents on it real quick. It's not gay to suck your own dick. It's masturbation. Well, that has nothing to do with and the Mandela even effect. if you want to stick it but, in uh, your butthole, if you could do it, I'm pretty sure 100% chance that you That too would. has nothing to do with the Mandela effect, but... Comment below. Let us know about the Mandela effect. Which ones do you believe? So are, things, do you, are ones that we didn't speak about in this podcast. Let us know okay. about it. Okay. So f- until next time for another far out conversation with Paul, Joseph, and Jacob. We're going to hit you up next week. We appreciate you listening. Fight me, IRL. Talk to you guys later. Bye, bye to you. M E Y E R, <laughs> not M E A Y R. You idiots! This is stupid. That kid's a what? demon. He looks like a demon. How did you- show. Far, far out. Far, China far show. It's a far out show. It's a far China out show. Far out show. It's a far out show. Far out show. Far out show. Far out show. It's a far out show. Far out show. Far out show. Far out show. It's a far out show with the far out dudes. Far out stay. Far out things. Far out stuff. The far out blue, blue, blue. far out dudes. I see the blue. Uh, I see the blue. You're listening to far the out blue, dudes. The blue, the blue. I see the blue. <laughs> You're listening to far out dudes. Blue. Thanks for listening. I see the blue, the blue, the clouds. The blue, the now blue, the clouds. But why are you saying that on the part? <coughs>